Hello, this, um, this video is partly a response to some comments that I've had from people um, particularly concerning Horizons and um, there's, there are people who seem to think that the Horizon line has got something to do with some sort of visual limit um, there's an awful lot of confusion about this and there were some peculiar comments on the, a video I made in which I just, I showed the curvature of the earth by showing that it obscured part of a bridge and also some land in the background. And some people said, if you got down low enough on a perfectly flat surface and took a shot across it, you would get a horizon line and things would start to look like they were being obscured by it in the distance. Um, I think I'll make a video going into a more theoretical examination of that claim because it's absolutely baseless. It doesn't really mean anything at all. It really is just one of those bizarre things that flat earthers come up with just to try and avoid the obvious. But anyway, let's have a look at what I'm doing here. Now today, I went to... Now what I, I needed some... What, I'll try and explain what I'm doing here, okay? What I wanted to do was get a, perf a really flat surface and get down low next to it and film across it. Now, there's a guy that's made a video in which he did this on a road and the road's got undulations. It's not good enough. Now, the only really flat surface you can get is water on a small scale. Now, obviously, water curves on a large scale. But um, this piece of water here I found is a, is a reservoir I visited today. Now, you can see it here on Google Earth. It's 863 feet across. Now, the, what I'm going to do with the camera is get it down to a height of only two inches above the water. Now, my camera, if you put it down on the ground, the lens is two inches above the water. And believe me, I really do get right down to the water. I mean, the camera actually got wet a couple of times. So I'm getting right down on the surface of the water and filming straight across 800 feet, 863 feet to the other side. And there's nothing really obscured at all. Now there's some birds happen to be there which were so fortunate, but you can also see the this wall. Now the wall um, around the edge of this reservoir is a kind of sloping stone wall and I'm, I'm standing down here at the bottom of this yellow line next to this little walkway and you can see that in a minute. And I'm looking straight across here. Like I said, it's 863 feet. Now at two inches that's not enough to start seeing a curvature due to the earth. Um, being a sphere, you'd have to, uh, at two inches, the horizon line would be about half a mile away, so this isn't far enough to appreciate this curvature of the earth, even at two inches above the water, so this is, for all intents and purposes, a completely flat surface we're looking at, I'm going to be using. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a view straight across the reservoir, and the camera is about, well, the lens of the camera is about two inches above the surface of the water. And I think you can see that you can see right across to the other side, you can see the stone wall that slopes down to the edge of the reservoir. Um, now, later on, I'll, I'll zoom in and you'll be able to see that you can see all of it. But you can see even from this shot that you're seeing straight across 860 feet of water. Now in this shot I've stood up and I've zoomed in um, so you can see the far side. So you can see the birds there in the water and you can also see the, that wall sloping down. And you can also see that there's some moss on the wall or some green stuff. I think it's moss. Um, which we can use later to get some indication of whether any of that wall is getting obscured when I go to a lower down shot and zoom in. Okay, so here I'm zooming in again. And you can see right on the far side there's a swan and some baby swans. So I zoom back. And I get right down on the water. 
Now, it was quite difficult doing this shot. I mean, I'm on a wall sloping down into the water. I'm trying to lean down, holding the camera, trying not to drop it in the water and zooming in. But you can see there, uh, you can see that you've got a clear shot of the reservoir wall going down and down to the water. You can see the, the green moss stuff that you saw in the higher shot and you can see the water, the birds all on the surface of the water. Um, again, this is just another shot that I took. Zoom again straight across. I mean, there's no evidence here at all of some kind of horizon being created by perspective or all you're seeing is me just zooming straight across a flat surface and seeing what's on the other side, 860 feet away, a sixth of a mile. <laughs>